We're going to make a soup for those that want to lose weight. The benefit of a soup is, <clears throat> sorry for the sore throat, a vegetable type soup will fill you up, give you that full feeling with fewer calories. There's no wheat involved in this, which is not good for you. And uh, there's no sugar involved in this. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is start black beans and chickpeas. Rated very high nutritionally. So we're going to cook those up for about an hour. Then I'm going to add all the vegetables. So right now I'm going to go ahead, collect all the vegetables, and uh, cut them up. You got to look at them. It's going to be quite a bit. I want this pot to be filled to the top. This is the type of item you're not going to make every few days. So you make it, you put it in containers, you put it in the freezer. It's perfect. Healthy, you want to lose weight. This is the way to go. I did a little research. I try to put the best things in here, things that burn calories, nutritionally healthy, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. When it's done, we can finish it two ways. Leave the vegetables in pieces, or take the burr mixer and smooth it out, giving it a lot of body so we're gonna we'll see how it looks I'm gonna add the uh, tomatoes because I don't we don't expect to see tomato in there just the flavor and the garlic and the ginger So that's going to simmer. This is building up to be something very heavy and veggie. Now I cut the zucchini, save it for last so you can still see it. Zucchini is nice, gives off a nice flavor. I put the green peppers with the zucchini because they cook in five minutes. Next I added the carrots and this is getting heavy and the celery. The benefit of the celery, every soup has to have celery, great flavor. Plus, it takes more calories to burn celery than what the value of the celery is in calories. Now that the beans are almost cooked, we're going to add everything else. And we'll see if this pot can hold it. this up to high. You know that vegetables shrink, give off liquid. <clears throat> and the onions. And now I'm going to add more water. I still think it's going to work out. All I have to do is add the collard greens, which I chopped up a little bit. And then later the zucchini and the peppers. And this will eventually shrink up. So this pot's going to be filled with soup. And why did I use water? That's because you could use fish stock, chicken stock, beef stock.
but this soup is for me and I don't want any of those other flavors in there except vegetable and I'm not going to become a vegan because it's not a healthy way and there's a lot of proof to show you that and the main proof is we have the same digestive system as a lion and they're carnivorous and those that the cow has a double stomach why because it takes a lot to chew and then digest and then re-chew and re-digest again all of that fiber that that animal eats so and there you go plus we have uh, cutting teeth and grinding teeth does a cow? nope and there's a lot more to it all I have to do is read up on a little archaeology about ancient man and what their diet was and how they were in better health than we are today especially with teeth they have all their teeth and nowadays you find some people don't get their wisdom teeth or their teeth aren't uniform easy to google a lot of things and google a lot of these ingredients to find out how good they are even cayenne pepper well <clears throat> we're gonna have enough room for everything already things are shrinking and there'll be plenty of room in here for the rest of the stuff now all this has to do is cook until it's tender and then we're done and I'm gonna put a little cayenne pepper in there salt I'm holding back on because I'm the only one that's going to be eating this and there should be enough flavor in there after I put the basil also that's quite a bit I will put it in core containers and we'll see how much we get now that everything's cooked I'm going to add the last two ingredients and then in a few minutes add the basil and I will also list how many quarts this has made like I said I didn't put any salt you can and some cayenne pepper which is very good for you <clears throat> I'm going to add some more water to this put some in the plate look at it and I'm going to add the, uh, the seaweed, the sea vegetable this will expand in there and basil spinach in there pop I love spinach the collard greens are better healthier so I'm gonna let this boil and then taste it again okay that's it we're all done now I'll have this and uh, don't have any bread with this any kind of grains because the grains will prevent any mineral minerals from being absorbed in your system isn't that a lovely
thought, and there it is. And I didn't put salt and I tasted it, and you can taste all the flavors in there. I hope you enjoy it, and I will <laughs> give the amount of what the, the how many quarts I'll put on the uh, video.